perfect. That ain't, that ain't no mercy. Black Panther tells the story of a Wakandan leader named T'Challa who, com who comes home after from the events of Civil War, and he's now the king of Wakanda because now his father is pretty much dead, and now he had to take up the responsibility of king while trying to protect his home from pretty much evil invaders like Ulysses Claw, played by Andy Serkis. And a Killmonger, played by none other than Michael B. Jordan, and and this tells a story on how all these different people may have different viewpoints on certain things, and all that will come ahead in, in the movie. And T'Challa will have to do whatever it takes to protect his new home, or well, not new home, his now rightful place as leader, and basically protect all the people around him that. He, he swears to protect. Now, Black Panther is a movie that you have to get right. You have an all-black cast, and you have Black Panther, one of the best parts of Civil War. And you you can't possibly mess it up. And they didn't. I loved Black Panther. It is such a fun movie, and it's such a dark movie also. And it surprisingly reminds me of The Winter Soldier in terms of its tone, which, in my opinion, isn't all that bad, and I really liked it. The music, I had to say, first off, is awesome. Really memorable. Really cool. Really fits, fits into the world of Wakanda. And I loved every second of it. It did put in all the right places. The score also really big it is amazing i love the score of this film also this is probably one of the best marvel soundtracks in the mcu i have heard so far and i heard a lot of great ones and the cast chadwick boseman as black panther he is fantastic i honestly can't see anyone else playing this character he gives such emotion to the character, he gives such levity, he even gives a toughness to him, and you understand his where he's coming from, and you really feel for him trying to become a king, kind of trying to be like his what his father is, and all these things are just crumbling onto him, and it's just really hard for him to bear, but having his character or going up and and make a difference for everybody is really impactful for the movie and what also inter is interesting about the movie is that the actual hero, not like a low life, not like somebody rich or a god, he's an, he is a king. He's a king and it really shows that even kings have problems. And it did not really shy away from it. I loved to I loved T'Challa in this film. I love Black Panther. Every action scene that he's in, oh, it's beautiful. I love it. And I really want to see more of him in the Avengers Infinity War. Or if they do a sequel, I'd love to see more of that. The action sequences here are also pretty spectacular. And the CGI while sometimes it's a bit unfinished, for the most part, it is really, really good. Mostly, the CG is used for the city of Wakanda, the environment of Wakanda. And it really stands out as the city where all the technology is. And it did not really have to explore that much of it. It's not like a world building movie. It just assumes that you know what it is and lets you focus on the actual story of what's going on. And Killmonger. Let's talk about Killmonger, the villain played by Michael B. Jordan. Now, Michael B. Jordan was previously the, in the fantastic fucking piece of shit. And I feel like Marvel is now picking, hey, whoever is the, gonna play a Johnny Storm in the Fantastic Four movie and end up being shit, 
we are going to save their ass and put them in a good Marvel movie, put them in a good role, and make their career back up again. I mean, sure, he made his career with Chronicle, Root Real Station, and Creed, but I think this is where a lot of people are going to notice him. Killmonger is a great villain. Probably one of the best since Loki. That is saying a lot. He, you understand where he's coming from. He, you have, you empathize with him actually. You feel for him. You understand his political viewness of Wakanda and what he feel like it's right. Even though his actions might be wrong, you actually understand that there is a cause for it. But it's not really. But you don't really root for him because, not because the way he executes those is pretty evil, and you just want to child that to pretty much win. But you understand the villain. You understand where he's coming from. He is menacing. Michael B. Jordan gives an all-out powerful performance once again, and I loved every second of Killmonger, and the banter between T'Challa and Killmonger in the movie is so cool. I loved it. Every second of their screen time together, it did bone chilling. I loved it. As all the other cast members are also pretty good. T'Challa's sister and uh, love interest, even her his guard, they those girls were pretty good in the movie. I just don't know the actresses' names. Fuck. And and surprisingly, T'Challa's mother didn't get as much screen time as I thought she might have gotten, but she was pretty good in the movie. All the acting here is really good. This cast is outstanding. Even Martin Freeman, who did not really need to be in the movie, he was fantastic. I love his performance here. But his, he could just be taken out of the movie and nothing would have changed. Ulysses Claw, on the other hand, the unhinged psycho weapon dealer, played by Andy Serkis, is fantastic and menacing, and he's just all out funny and unhinged. I love the Andy Serkis in this film. The whole look of Wakanda and the whole look of the movie is also pretty good, and you are really much pretty much already invested in Wakanda and you're already in this world from the get-go and that's some of what the best movies are you are enhanced into a world that the movie is trying to present and you're enjoying every second of it the directing by Ryan Coogler is outstanding the way he directs really small scenes or big scenes like action sequences or like the car chase during the middle of the movie it was fantastic and all the scenes with Black Panther fighting and doing all these kicks and stuff it was all well done I loved it overall Black Panther is an, it's an extraordinary movie I loved it I loved every second of it I my only problem would have to be there's a few characters that might not even need to be in the movie and some of the special effects are a bit wonky at times. But other than that, I had no other problem with the movie. This is a fantastic addition to the MCU. A fantastic Marvel movie. A fantastic superhero movie overall. And a, and a really important film that really needed to be made. With an all out black cast that did not go into any racist routes but really stay true to its culture, to, to the spirit of Black Panther, and it is a worthy addition to the MCU, and I highly recommend you guys go check it out right now. I'm going to give Black Panther an A. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time. The I you. I'm a slave. Do you